it's a great time to find a job. The recent labor market data tells me that my students that are graduating this semester are going to have a great labor market. So if you're looking for a job or soon to be graduating, today's labor market data is music to your ears. It was a busy week for labor data. We are covering the data and helping you make sense of the new trends. So here's a summary of what happened this week. First, we'll start off with the BLS unemployment report that was released this morning about 30 minutes ago. Total non-farm payroll employment rose by a whopping 336,000 new jobs in September. This is huge, much higher than what was expected. While this is good news for some, it is bad news for other people. The labor market remains resilient despite increases in the interest rate. Uh, we've been anticipating a slowing labor market, but today's report shows that the labor market continues to exceed expectations. The revisions by the BLS from the previous month's data show an upward revision, it means that the estimates that we had previously were lower than were what was actually happening. So this is good news for those seeking a job and for employees that might be able to negotiate higher wages. However, for the stock market, this is probably bad news. We will probably see the stock market dive today because it signals that there is room for the Fed to continue to increase interest rates. So be on the lookout for that. Another data point is the unemployment rate today was unchanged at 3.8%. Another data point that came out this week is job openings. They are now 9.6 million jobs available. And this is an increase from last month's 8.8 .8 million jobs available. So what it turns out to be is there are now 0.7 unemployed people per job opening. Another sign that this is great news for those of you looking for jobs and indicates that firms remain interested in hiring. The ADP National Employment Report is an independent measure and high, of high frequency view of private sector labor market and it's based on actual anim anonymized payroll data of more than 25 million U.S. employees. In August, ADP data shows an increase of 177,000 new jobs. Private sector employment increased by 89,000 jobs. And here's the kicker. Based on their data, annual pay has increased by 5.9% year over year. Let's talk about jobless claims. So these are initial filings for unemployment benefits, and it, they total the seasonally adjusted 207,000 for the week ending September 30th. That's up just 2,000 from the previous period and below the estimates of 210,000. You might wonder if the United Auto Worker strike is impacting these numbers. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics handled jobless claims from strikes in a specific way to ensure that labor market strikes do not distort the overall labor market statistic. When workers go on strike, they typically do not work and do not receive wages from their employers. However, with the exception of New York and New Jersey, employees on strike cannot claim unemployment benefits. So they're not in the data. Here's the takeaway. For all of my students graduating in December, it looks like the odds of finding a job for you is really, are really high. There are many job openings and firms are hiring. Good luck and make sure to negotiate for higher wages. It has been great working with my students as they negotiate offer letters. The job market is definitely on their side. Economics with Dr. A is a YouTube series that is designed to help guide you through the economy and how it affects you. Join us, subscribe, and continue the conversation in the comments. My name is Dr. A. I'm an economist at the Hale College of Business at Northern Kentucky University. See you all next week.